Hey guys, my name is Kristen. I'm a leader with Usborne Books and More. My goal with this video was to show you my top 10 favorites. I just could not do it. Every time I walked past a bookshelf, I was like, but I really love that one too. So I ended up picking my top 15 favorite books to show you. I do have kids ranging from coming this summer all the way up to 11. We will have five kiddos. And so with favorites at each age and favorites that work for everybody, it was so hard to narrow it down. So I'm gonna to try to be really quick and just show you my top 15 favorite books. Here is my first favorite for babies and toddlers, That's Not My Kitten. I really love all of the That's Not My books. I love the vocabulary kids learn, their touchy feelings. So they get to associate the new word with a feeling, something that they can touch. And my kids have all loved them. They even provide really good reading practice for a new reader when they're reading to a younger sibling. Next up, and these are in no particular order, I tried to go in order of age, My Wild Animal World. I love these boxes of chunky little board books. Each one tells about the animal. So this one is about tiger. I am a tiger. My home is, a, is the jungle. My baby is called a cub. I eat meat and I roar, grr, grr. And when you take the books out, they actually have a little picture to show you right where they need to go back in to make cleanup easy. I toss one or two in my bag when I leave to go to the grocery store. And then my little kiddos can have something to keep their hands busy. Muddle and Match is another one of my favorite series. We have so many of these now, I'm blocking them. And we love them all, we have to have them all. Petunia, the pretty and pink princess, pops into the palace gardens to pick poppies with her pet puppy pickles. So they are alliterative, but you can also mix up the pages for fun, silly sentences. Let's see if I can show it to you without that glare. Florence, the forgetful fairy, soars into the stormy skies, eager to find the enormous emerald earrings. How fun would it be to uh, copy some pages and cut it up and let your kids mix and match their own pictures, especially while you're reading the book? Next favorite is All Better. We have three different books with these cool removable band, or they're not all band-aids, stickers. But in All Better, you're going through and you're helping your animal friends to feel better. Let's see that glare. My goodness. Oh no, dog wasn't looking where he was going. Ouch. Clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. All better. These are super cute. It's lots of fun sticking the bandages on, helping friends along the way. Now, my personal favorite series is our Peek Inside series. This one is Peek Inside the Sea. These have the most beautiful pictures. I just love the colors used, the best illustrations. I can read these Peek Inside books to all of my kids at the same time. They are pretty enough and nonfiction enough on his favorite subjects for my oldest, my 11 year old, but they're also easy enough for the youngest ones to pay attention. They're not too long and of course, flaps. Peek inside. I wanted to only include one flat book because I can just tell you we have look insides, we have see insides. I've got all my see insides up here. You can't see them. Um, and we have some lift the flap, uh, question and answer books, all kinds of books with flaps, but how things work. I couldn't skip it. Uh, my five-year-old is so inquisitive. She always asks me questions about things around us, like how do you make the car go? And she just, she wonders about how everything works. So as soon as this lift the flap or look inside how things work book came out, I had to get it for her so that she can finally get all the answers that she's looking for because mom doesn't have them all. We have a few different step-by-step -step drawing books and I love these because I can't draw and they just make it so super easy. <laughs> now my kids can have drawing lessons with me. Generally we don't write in them. Sometimes some of the kids start to, we always copy on another piece of paper. That way when a new kid comes along they can use their imagination to create their own pictures and have lots of fun learning to draw, mostly using geometric shapes. Super simple. We have a ton of wipe clean books. These are the 
the gems that I wasn't going to try until I became a consultant and one came in my kit. And now I love our white clean books. I was most excited about one of our latest additions, starting cursive. So we've got some practice in here to get kids ready for the motions used when they're writing in cursive and then practicing the new letters throughout the book. See, ours gets a lot of use. <laughs> and then capitals and writing words, writing letters. So, if you're frustrated because your kids are not learning cursive in school, definitely add white clean cursive to your collection. The big book of little stories, mine, not to brag or anything, just happens to be signed by Peter Osborne himself. I got to meet him at one of our conventions one year. But I love these books because they have all of our favorite stories shortened with just the best illustrations ever. So we have Little Red Riding Hood, The Wind in the Willows, Little Miss Muffet, Vampire's New Clothes, Old Mother Hubbard, Little Three Pigs. You get the picture. Lots of great stories. The illustrations are seriously the best. And there's such a great variety of stories. All of my kids, again, this is one that works for all of my kids. They all will sit and listen. And this is one of those books where your kids are always going to say, can you read one more story? Just one more. It's just beautiful. And it's got the ribbon bookmark to mark where you leave off. Shine a Light books. We have more than a dozen of these. The Human Body is my favorite Shine a Light book. It has a special place in my heart because of a story that I have to go along with it. My, at the time, two-year-old decided to swallow a penny. Let's see if I can show you all this. And the stubborn little thing would not pass, so she ended up having an x-ray to see where that little penny was. But I got to tell her that it's just like in your book. We had recently gotten it and we had read this book and this little girl had fallen down and got an x-ray. So I got to say it's a picture of the inside of your body just like in your book. And she had no anxiety about the, um, the x-ray. We just moved and I couldn't find any of my little flashlights. Your phone flashlight will work and so will holding it up to the ceiling light, but those books are super awesome. Actually, these books are super awesome. This is why I have 15 instead of 10. Big book of big animals. We have several big books and they are really cool ways to see really big animals. All sorts of uh, big things. We have big trucks, big tractors, big bugs. You name it. These big books have double fold out pages for giant illustrations that I can't even fit in one video. So if your kids are interested in just about any nonfiction topic, definitely get yourself a big book in that topic, especially with so many kids. They can spread it out on the floor like this and everyone can lay down and have like their own little section. Actually, Big Book of the Body is another one of my favorites. We haven't had this one very long. This is The Life Size by Sophie Hinn. And it shows you different parts of animals' bodies um, in life size. So we have a, a life-size picture of a polar bear's paws and it prompts you to hold it's interactive it prompts them to put their hand up and see how their own hand compares to that of the polar bear here's one you can try on the toucan's beak and see how it looks on you it's a life-size toucan's beak a life-size squid eye life-size draft tongue a lot of fun learning about animals and seeing how big they really are. Story Path is another one I love for my whole family. We open this up and we spend so much time building a story together. I'm not as creative as I would like to pretend I am. I'm not any more creative than I am good at drawing. And so these books really help me with prompts. Once upon a time there lived a and they have to choose their path. They have to Choose which way they go, and you can make up your story along the way. So there lived a monkey living in outer space. 
and then it has some extra questions to help you build your story. Whom did you choose? What was their name? What did they look like? Where did they live? One day, they were riding along on there, and you get to choose a path again. So maybe the monkey in outer space was riding along on his boat. That's totally up to your child as you go through this. And another little prompt, what did you choose? What noise did it make? How fast was it? Where were they going? I love how it brings out some creativity and gets them thinking um, outside the box, building some stories. It's really a lot of fun to do together, especially with several kids at once. Bear Girls Extreme Planet makes the cut in my top 15 because I have a wilderness loving uh, child and he loves all things outdoors. He loves learning about different places and an extreme planet, Bear Grylls, is taking us through some of the most extreme places in the world, telling us all about them. And my kids love to share just completely random facts that they learn with everyone. And you're, sometimes my husband and I are like, what, where did you learn that? It's from one of their Bear Girls books. Usually, we lucked out uh, uh, last year, the year before, and we got several Bear Girls books. My kids were very excited about that because they love his show. So, Extreme Planet is definitely one to invest in if you have an outdoorsy, wilderness-loving child. Anne of Green Gables makes the cut because it's Anne of Green Gables. Maybe just because it's one of my favorite stories, but I love the illustrations. They are so beautiful. I think kids are capable of reading many of these books that were written long ago, long before we think they are, but the beautiful illustrations definitely make them more engaging and more exciting to read. We had two copies of Anne of Green Gables already when this came out, but you can't have too many copies of Anne of Green Gables, so. Now we have another one. If you have older readers or um, you need a gift to give someone in your family, you can't go wrong with the Usborne Illustrated Originals, especially the ones we have that are complete and unabridged, like Anne of Green Gables. Thank you for joining me to see my top 15. I would love to hear what some of your favorites are.